Hello and welcome to Wolves World for the first edition of Five Things in Five Minutes. This is a new way I'm going to operate the channel from now on. Hopefully um, it'll get some good subscribers, good reviews and people will enjoy the quick fire information about Wolverhampton Wanderers. If you do feel that way, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this video. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at northernwall 10 and please look at my website which is www.wallsworld.org you'll find some articles as well as the videos that I upload through YouTube okay number one new signing William Jose maybe not fully over the line right now but we have to think that this is about to happen given the amount of talk that there has been in the last few days about him 62 goals in 170 appearances for Real Sociedad who are definitely a mid-table team at best in the Spanish league is a good return over those three or four years he's been there so much so he has been wanted by some other clubs including Barcelona during their crisis and Spurs so if we're in a mix for a striker yes he might be 29 who in not that long ago has been linked with those clubs I'm happy with this signing Obviously, like many Wolves fans, what I've seen of him has primarily come from YouTube and has come in the last few days, and it is all highlights. He will have some weaknesses. He is not going to answer all our questions uh, and problems that we do have, but I think this is a great step in the right direction of Wolverhampton Wanderers, and hopefully by next weekend, he will be ready, fit, firing, to go in the game. Okay. Point number two, this is where we take a slightly less positive approach to Wolverhampton Wanderers at the moment. First thing, relegation battle, I personally don't think so. And I think this signing, coupled if we can get one more over the line, possibly talking of Douglas Costa, which would be incredible. Um, I do think Wolves are far too good to consider going down. Yes, Nuno looks a little deflated, the squad a little low on sort of commitment at times, you would say, and lacking a little bit of leadership and guidance. But too good to go down, I think we are. Also, that buffer we currently have, which despite the games in hand Fulham and others may have, is still quite high given that we're a good portion of the way through the season now. I'm not in any way that thinking Wolves will get dragged into a relegation battle, but it is something we do need to be wary of given a slightly tougher run of fixtures upcoming. Point number three, the back five must return. I think that the back four was something at the time when we first tried it out in that sort of the Arsenal type area when Jimenez got injured. I was very happy to see that. I'm still happy that it's a plan B. I'm still happy that when we fall behind in games, we could switch to it given our personnel on the field and it does make us more attacking. However, we are currently leaking goals like I have not seen a Nuno Wolverhampton Wanderers team do before and that needs to stop. So we must get back to the back five. We must start showing some control, composure and leadership. And when we get that sorted, I've got no doubt that we'll get back to winning games. It might be some ugly one nils, sneaking a 2-1 uh, after maybe falling behind, as we often do. But ultimately, right now, it's about results. I think the chance of pushing for anything more than a top half finish this year may have slipped away from us. And that's fine. But being realistic get some wins on the board and get them soon. In Chelsea and Palace upcoming, there is genuinely a chance there to pick up four, maybe even six points on as a good return from those two games. Chelsea are low on form, Palace we've beaten twice already. Let's go back to the five. Point number four, what does this mean for Fabio Silva? We've got Catrone coming back, we've got hopefully William Jose coming in as we discussed. Fabio Silva, who has definitely split opinion in the last few weeks since being asked to play in the absence of Jimenez. There he is. I still think Fabio Silva has a major role to play in this team. To think that William Jose is going to A, come in and answer all the problems and score loads of goals would be wrong. And B, that Nuno isn't going to in some way slowly bed him into the team is inaccurate. Nuno will take time to get Jose playing full matches, even from the start possibly. And what has Fabio Silva really done wrong? Apart from being a bit weak, as he's 18 years old, he's shown at times, his touch is improving, his movement is fantastic, so much so that he got a piece on Match of the Day mentioned about him. And his goal against Villa, which was, uh, sorry, West Brom, which was our last game, has 
was a fantastic goal. It oozed class and it showed what he's all about. I am not here to slate him or throw him under the bus. I am aware we need a change, but hopefully he will stay in and around the first team pitcher and still get plenty of minutes, which will only benefit him for the future as he is a long-term prospect and investment at our club. And point number five, just a small matter of Charlie away in this FA Cup match hopefully this evening but it could be delayed from what I've read I've got no doubt I will see John Ruddy in goal he is a cup goalkeeper and if he can't handle this I'd be very surprised John Ruddy in goal moving forwards I'd like to see Hoover and Ain't Nori be the main attacking threats from full back today could easily see Semedo stay at right back but I would like to see Hoover because a I think it's a game he needs and b I can't see against Charlie how him or Semedo they're much of a muchness in lots of ways. And I think against Charlie, let's give Hoover some minutes. Cody and Bolly at the back. While that's still a back four, and I've just preached about the five, the reason I want to see the four today is I think we have to be positive. If we can score two or three goals, you cannot see Charlie matching that. That is how we have to start the game today. However, I still don't expect a clean sheet. In the midfield, we've got Dendonka on Otisawi for some serious size and presence. We've got Nevers to move the ball around and we've got Gibbs White because he needs some minutes. This is how I'd like to see us line up. The top two, I'd like to see Neto given a bit of a free roll, even if I put him as a sort of central striker in this image. I still would like to see him with a bit of a free roll. And then Fabio Silva, give him another chance. Sil uh, Jose is not going to be ready to play today. Catroni looks like he might be on his way out and is definitely third choice striker for me. Let's give Silva another game today. Just to end there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, check out some of my other videos. I've got some interviews on there with other Wolves fans, as well as some transfer rumours and things from the past, just to see what I'm about. Don't forget, at NorthernWolf10, Instagram and Twitter. Follow the website, as you'll see there. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.